Hello and welcome to the special edition technology episode. My name is Edward. This is a special technology edition Selected. for the Button. iOS 14 software. Well, as I said, you're more than welcome to the special technology edition. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you're staying safe and well. And thank you for all the feedback YouTube has been giving me. Well, not YouTube, but my subscribers. And yes, let's just get started with this, with this uh, edition. So, as I said, this is a special edition episode, and I am. Today's episode will be actually on the accessibility features. So, because this channel is specifically for. Well, not specifically, it's for everyone, but it's focused on specifically uh, people for visually impaired. Who are, who are visually impaired, uh, specifically for those who use technology. So yeah, that's this channel. That's what this episode is going to be about. So this is episode number one. The episode number two will be just uh, general mainstream features. So let's get started. Apologies if I didn't make a episode yesterday. It's just it's Apple's fault. Blame them because they actually released the software when it was too late. They released it around... 9 p.m. and I was expecting it to release at 6 p.m. and yeah, it's just their fault. So apologies for that. Anyway, enough of me talking. Let's get into it. One of the big huge features on iOS 14 and this is really big, big, a huge improvement for voiceover users. So it's called voiceover recognition. So at first, it wasn't available. Thursday, the 17th of September. Double it, open. it wasn't available for previous softwares, and well, the image recognition was introduced in iOS 10, but it wasn't as good as it is now. But the screen recognition is something that's completely new. So the screen recognition is basically if you have an inaccessible app, Voiceover will at least try its best to implement the buttons and the navigations to help you to use this inaccessible app so you can now install any app that is inaccessible now i haven't tried it but um i'll try it sometime and i did hear that it works works really well so let's try the screen recognition actually no at the image recognition because i don't i don't have any inaccessible app so i won't be demonstrating this today so the screen recognition is basically the your iphone will use the ai intelligence to describe what's in the image so like say if it's a photo if it's a yeah if it's a photo it will actually try its best to describe and i have to say facebook has now became more interesting to me as i am using this feature because now it's as if I'm actually seeing what's in the photo, whatever person, whatever one of my friends uploads. So let's just, I'll just go, I'm just going to go into the camera. Camera, double tap to open. Camera, take picture, zero people, take picture, photo video viewer, button. Back button, the second of March, nine, all photos, button. That's like photos. photo here. Anyway, photo, the 10th of September 2019, adult, jacket, funded by European Regional Development Fund. Photo, the 10th of September 2019. Adult, jacket, funded by European Regional Development Fund. So, it says here. Photo, 
The 10th of September 2019. Adults. Jacket. Funded by European Regional Development Fund. Photo, the 10th of September, that was me starting in my course. So it says adult jacket European funded by. So it gives you a really good description. Photo, the 10th of September 2019. Actions available. Adults. Jacket. Funded by European Regional Development Fund. So it gives you what's in the description that is a person. It's a it's a person wearing a jacket, and what it says in the Library. course that Library. I went to Library. because I actually um, was All taking photos. a Adjust. selfie. Well, not a selfie, but anyway, uh, a photo was taken of me when I was starting. So. It gives you a very brief, accurate description <clears throat> of what's in the photo. So, another thing is, of course, the screen recognition. But I, as I said, I don't have any inaccessible apps at the moment. Settings. Double tap. So let's just go ahead Settings. and go into accessibility and Do not explore. Not screen time. General. Display. Home screen. Accessibility. Different voiceover features. Vision. Heading. Vision. Heading. So. Okay. I'm just gonna slow down the speed for you guys in case you can't understand it. Characters. Tap once to select an item. Double tap to activate the selected item. Learn more ellipsis. Link. So there's now Double a new tap to button which says learn link. more. I think it actually brings you to the app, sorry, to the website where it says about voiceover. Let's try. Double tap to dismiss. Po Done. Voiceover commands. Actually, Edit. no, it doesn't. Voiceover speaks items on the screen and provides helpful hints. You can control voiceover using a simple set of gestures. Interaction. So the big improvement actually for voiceover and for general features, iOS has kind of turned into Android because Talkback used to give me Gmail. a hint when I used now, to use Android. Google Calendar, Notification, Envision, NC. When Talkback is on, your device provides spoken feedback. Notifications. Double to go home. Sorry. Slide to use notification center. Notification center. Done. Button. Done. Button. Notification sent. Gmail. Clear. Thursday. Yeah. <clears throat> you, it said your device provides Settings. spoken feedback. Double tap to dismiss. To help window. users Button. that are visually impaired to navigate the device. So it, it, it wouldn't say exactly the same thing, but as I said, but yeah, it will give the same kind of hint. Double tap, swipe three fingers to basic navigation. To go home, slide one finger up from the bottom edge until you feel the first vibration. To use the app switcher, slide up further from the bottom and to use control center. Slide one finger so, down from the top edge until you feel the first vibration. It just gave us, then gives lift us your basic finger. tutorial. To use notification center, to use notif- to, 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 Double tap, tap once to select Voiceover commands. Voiceover speaks item. Voiceover commands. Heading. Done. Double tap to dismiss pop up window. Dub. Done. Button. Accessibility. So that's Back the new button. voiceover section which is lo says learn more. Speak. Braille. Speech. Speaking rate. 50%. Speaking rate. Heading. And we have also have a new feature. So that's voiceover. Accessibility. Back access. Voiceover. Zoom. Off. Button. We also have new features included in Zoom, but of course I wouldn't be able to demonstrate that. Magnifier. Off. Magnifier. Button. I'm pretty sure that's improved. The other feature that has improved actually in terms of accessibility is hearing. So for those who have hearing impairment, they can adjust. So I'm going to demonstrate you that. Were speaking second heading edit heading physical and motor hearing heading containers sound speak work carry hearing devices sound recognition off button so there is a new 
section called sound recognition. So basically you can implement a sound recognition. So if you've heard of hearing and you can you can adjust and <clears throat> select sound recognition. So like you can select a so like your phone will, de will detect different sound. So if there is a if there is a dro doorbell ringing and you didn't hear it, your phone will detect it and I think and I think it gives it a vibration. And if there is a baby crying, your phone will also detect that. So it's a different sound recognition for people who are hearing in hearing impaired, and they would ha they can set up the different sounds to their preference. So they will so they will know what's going on in their household. So this is the accessibility features. Yes, it it is a big improvement ever since iOS ten. I mean with iOS ten it was a huge big improvement, but now with iOS fourteen it's actually much bigger. So App Switcher settings settings so there you go guys this Double is an accessibility video hope you enjoyed this leave a comment down below and i'll see you in the next one peace selected screen record